All right, folks, we moved over here on the perch. We're going to see if we can catch a couple of perch. There's a bite right there. There's some down there. I see them at 28 foot of water. Start out there deep and they get a bite. And uh, pull in here shallow and I'm starting to see a couple. And they're bumping that, but they ain't taking We got to figure out what they want. Is what we got to do. Figure out what they want. They all down in the whole school of them. They, they bumping it. Whole school of perch. And it might be bass too. They mixed up probably. It's getting time for them to get, get grouped up again. In the summer. There he goes. There he goes. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. Maybe we'll start catching a few now. That's a good one. What? Oh my. Hey, we got two, look at that. Two perch, one time. One of them on the doggone monkey shine. And one on the blue one, blue jig we just put on. So they want them smaller is what they want because they ain't that big a fish. They eating size though. Hey, you got to love eating size. Maybe we catch a few perch here and do a perch video today. Uh, started with the catfish and it was kind of slow so I decided to change over. And now we're perch fishing. What we doing? Dropping it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Trying to catch us some doggone white perch. There's plenty of them out there. 25 foot. It's shallow today. It's kind of a high water conditions. And uh, and overcast. A lot of times, them two combinations will pull you in shallower. They'll go from 40 something foot to 25 foot. And I think that's what's happening. They're in 25 foot of water. We're going to try to catch them. There he is. Hey, there he is. See if we can get another and bite it. Let him pull around down there and see if another and bite it. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. Maybe a nothing. I ain't sure. Pulling up slow might get you another fish. Hey, two at a time is what we got. Not real big, but hey, we ain't caught no perch in a while. But we got that on the big one, on the big jig. So they will hit the three inch. Drop it back down. Hey, we got it going on now. Whew! Got it going on now. Just a matter of time before we get us some bass. It's pleasant out here today, but a few boats fishing. I ain't seen much running around. So we're basically by ourselves down here, and I love that. All right, there's the bottom. Let's see if we can get another. There he goes. Uh-oh, got off. Drop back down. See how long they'll stay biting? That's the thing. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. What? Oh, my. That's a slab right there. Unless it's two. That's a nice perch right there. Unless it's two. Hey, how about three? Hey, how about three? Three at a time. Lake Monticello. Hey, y'all got to love this. Three at a time again. Look at that. Huh? Oh, my. Love catching them babies three at a time. Perch fishing on Lake Monticello again. Yes, sir. We've been catching so many catfish, we haven't been trying to perch. Maybe we'll get in some perch now. That's a good one right there. Hey, that's a jumbo. You got to love a jumbo. Look at this jumbo. It's a jumbo magnum perch. Drop it down. Hey, see if we get a nut. Loving life with the old fisherman. Oh. Stay on them is the thing. Stay in on them. They get one that time. Hey, they're moving quick, man. I tell you, they'll they'll have to be there one minute and next minute gone. What I'm thinking. Be there one minute and next minute they'll be gone. Uh oh. That might have been what just happened. Caught a couple and they wanting to quit now. These y'all doggone rascals or something. They get spooked off real easy now. They ain't like they used to be. You could used to just tear them up. Spooking off. They gone. See if we can call them back. They got none interested again. I see them on the bottom. They just quit feeding. Went back to the bottom. They stirred up for a little bit. Now they don't quit. There you go. We got him that time. That might be a bass. Mm, I ain't sure. I believe it's a big perch. I pull it slow when he hit it. It's a perch. It ain't no bad. Look at that. Hey, 
I was pulling it slow when he hit it. Drop back down to the bottom where the big boys lie. Hey, y'all be sure to go to stevecumalina.com. We might be getting some new stuff in. I'm talking with a lady uh, in Washington State. Hopefully she's sending me some stuff. But uh, we'll see if we can put anything else up there. Yep, there he is. There he is. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, look at that going. Look at that going. Catching perch on Lake Monticello. And I mean, we might have three again. We got three again. Look at him. Three good ones, too. They pulling, too. Look at him. Oh, one bass. Oh, Lord. Hey, we got one bass and two perch. One of the perch just fell off. <laughs> we got one bass and two perch, and one of the perch just fell off. Hey, day. That, that's a jumbo right there. Look at that jumbo. That was a nice bass, too. I'm going to put him in, in the drum for a second, though. I ain't going to throw him back right now. We'll throw him back in a minute. Hey, and this is the other perch that fell off right here. He, he ain't a bad one. Uh, three quarters of a pound. See that? Hey, we getting a mess of fish now. We getting a mess of fish now. Hey, you never know with me. I started off catfishing, I'll adapt over in a minute. Catfish don't want to act right, we'll adapt over to perch. I've done this many a time this time of the year. You come out, you can't catch no catfish, you come up and tear up the perch. And I hope that's what's happening right here, right now. See? Oh, I missed him. We got some down there. We done found some perch. We done found some perch. I can tell you that right now. Get back a little shallower. Seems like they want to bite on top of the hill up here. Uh oh, there he is. Got him that time. Got him that time. We got him that time. Oh my. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here. Look at him dancing. Nice, nice white perch right there. Nice one. Huh. Nice one. I like catching them that size and bigger. Look at that. That's a good one right there. Let's see if we can get some more of them. 29 foot. Not a bite. And they all over the place. We're gonna let that line out and pull it a slant. I think it's a lot of time they want it at a slant. You got to get that slant to catch them. Catch them good like this right there. See that? See what I'm talking about? That slant makes a difference. That slant makes a difference, folks. Look at that rod. Look at that rod. Oh my! I believe we got three. I believe we got three. No, we ain't got but two. We ain't got but two. We got two though. Look at that. Two of them. Medium-sized perch. Medium-sized perch. And got my glove. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, boy. All right. Got to lay it down a little bit. Lay it and pull up the jig. I don't like to lay it up that jig. I'm using a three rig this morning. We got three little jigs on there is what we got. Two swivels. Lines branching off the swivels. What we got? 27 foot of water and plenty of fish out there. Plenty of them. Alright, let's see if we can get down there and catch one of them. There he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. Uh oh. Still got him. Let's see if we can get a nothing. There goes a nothing, I think. Let's see if we can get a nothing. We might get a nothing to take it. Don't know. We got two. We got two. One of them's a good one. That's a good old perch right there. Huh? That's a good old perch right there. Look at the size of that one. My goodness. This day ain't nothing. The other one was a nice. It's a nice one. This is a throwback. But the other one was a nice one. All right. Straighten up our jigs. Got to have a, straight, a jig straight on the line. They can't be crooked. Make sure they're in, in swimming position. Hey, throw it back down. All we got to do as we drop it down, and I've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. As I'm dropping it down, I'll pull the boat up. I'll pull the boat up 10 yards and stop it. 
and that puts a slant on the line. As it's going down back down to behind the boat, I'm going to pull it at a 45 off the bottom. And then when I get it right like that, I start pulling it off the bottom like this. And that's when they normally hit it. And if they don't hit it that first time, then you drop it back down and turn the boat and go another angle. That's what you do. Turn the boat and go another angle. All you do. And then you're reeling it up another angle next time. Like, mm, that was a bite. See, that change of angle caused a bite. All right, now we're gonna drop it down again. This time we're gonna pull it at another angle. So we're changing angles. We're just not sitting down on top of them and pulling up and down. We're changing angles, okay? And watch this. See that? Fish, a little one, but he's a, uh oh, he got off. But the fish all up under me. And that stirs them up when they move in different directions like that. We got a big school of fish under us right now. See, we can catch one of them. Changing angles. There he is. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Yeah, I still got him. Changing angles is the key. Hey, see that? That's what I'm talking about. I'm teaching now. All right. Drop it back down. And we're circling the boat like in your living room right now. Slow. I got it on about three. So we're taking it slow like it's in the living room. We're going to drop it down, turn it off. Now the line's going down back down behind the boat. As it goes down, the boat's pulling up. You don't want to get too much of an angle, just a little bit, like a 45. That's what they like. They don't like too much of an angle. And uh, if you get too much, they won't bite it. That's good. Turn the camera off. Next pull, I got a bite. Let's see what we got. That's a nice fish. That might be a bass. No, it's a catfish and a perch. How about that, folks? Catching dog on catfish with a uh, jig, monkey shine jig, and an old perch. Monkey shine got him a cat. That jig's messed up. I got to fix it. Monkey shine got him a catfish. You got to fix that jig, though. I have come out here and caught a lot of catfish out here. Straight down, 20-something foot of water. Wore them out. And there might be a bunch of them I'm seeing as catfish. Might get through the worms down there and wear them out. I don't know. I have done it. I can tell you that. I have done it. Hey, yeah. Caught that kind of trolling. He ain't no whopper, but he's eating size. Well, he ain't bad at all. It's a nice perch. Hey, he's a nice one. He ain't no jumbo, but he, he ain't no magnum, but he's a jumbo. That's what I'm trying to say. See that? Ain't no magnum, but he's a jumbo. Hey, yeah. Got him that time. He ain't no big one though. A little one. He's a little one. He's keeper size. Fry hole size. Fry hole size. There he is. Got him that time. Set the hook and got him that time. Let's see if we can get a nud. Let's see if we can get a nud. Hey, Dave. You got a joker. I believe we got two. I believe we got two. Yep, yeah, we got two. Two good ones, too. Look at that. Two good ones. Yes, sir. Look at that size out. Nice one. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Good one. Drop it back down with a big boy's life. About time for these bass to get out here now. What I'm thinking. Big bass, four pounders, or better. They follow it, they just ain't taking it. They will not take it until it gets the right slant. I keep saying that, but it's true. I'm saying it because it's true. 
All right, we're going to pull this thing over here and get some slack. Turn it off and pull it a slant. See what happens. See that? See the difference? You see the difference? What I'm talking about is a difference. All right, throw it back out. Hey, that's a nice one. Hey, that's a nice one. That might be a bass. That might be a bass right there. That might be a bass. Oh my, that's a bass. Oh my, look at that. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come in here, that old fisherman. Come in here, boy. Look at that. Hey, we got a bass and a perch. What we got? A bass and a perch. You got to love that. A 17 inch bass. He hit the Charlie Brewer three inch slider jig like they do love. And what he hit, boy, he got it too. Let me tell you, hey, he's right a nice right one. Big old that. school fish, 27 foot, big old school fish. Right there's a mother load right there. We ought to get a bite this time. Hey, there was a bite and I missed him. Bunch of fish down there, bunch of them. They still hitting. They all over the place. Whole school of them. There he is. Got him that time. Got him that time. See if we can get another on there. Nope. We ain't got too high now, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's a keeper, but he's barely a keeper. Barely a keeper. Put him back out there. We got a lot of fish in here. They ain't the big ones. Maybe the big ones are getting caught out and the little ones are coming along. Who knows? <clears throat> All right, there's the bottom. There's the fish. I missed him. Tall. Drop back down. We got them all in here at 25 foot. All in here. There he is. There he is. It's a nice one, I think. Hard to tell sometimes. That might be a couple right there. That might be a couple right there. Oh, yeah. That's two of them right there. Two at a time. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. If that thing ain't got at least a 45 on it, you will not catch them. I never seen anything like it. That is the key. No question. They got to pull the boat to get it more than a 45 on the, on the jig to catch them. It won't hit it. Apparently, them little shad, when they running away, they ain't running straight up. They running out, swimming away. And I think that's why, why they're hitting it like that. There he is. There's another one. There's another bite. Not a big one, though. These ain't the fish that I'm looking for. They ain't the size. There's got to be big ones out here somewhere. I'm thinking. <coughs> got to be. There he is. Got him that time. Got him that time. See if we get a nothing on the. That's an eatable one. That's a keeper. There he is. There he goes. Right, nice one. I'll take them that size all day long, but a good three quarter put to a pound. About three quarters. Look at that. 
That's some nice, nice eating stuff. I'm doing my doggone jigs, huh? He done destroyed my jigs. Mug of shine. I'm using uh, what I normally use. We got an eighth ounce jig head from Arca Head from Walmart. We got three uh, uh, slider jigs, Charlie Brewers, and we got we got a three inch at the top and an inch and a two inch and a half down below. All of them's on eighth ounce heads right now. Uh, is what we're using today. Two swivels and a little lead in between the last two jigs. Hey folks. Move it over to another spot, see if we can find some more perch. See if there's any over here. Oh, we already got a bite. We might be done found them. I see a bunch of fish down there. Hey, we might be done found them. Bunch of them. Might be some bass over here. There's a good bass area. But there he is. These are bigger fish over here. These are bigger fish over here. I believe. I'm believing this one's a bigger one. Oh, ain't no doubt. This is a good one. These are good ones. This is what we're looking for right here. Hey, look at that. Look at the size of them babies. Look at the size of them babies. This is what we're looking for right there, folks. Big old monster perch. Huh? That's what we're looking for right there. We made a move. Decided, hey, they wasn't doing what they should be doing over here. The size wasn't right. We made a move, and it could have paid off. We're going to fix to find out. We can get this jig on here. Jig is messed up. We got to get it going. Fish is out there. We got to catch them. Hey, that's a jumbo magnum right there. That's what I'm looking for right there. This is a bass hotel right here in a house. There he is. Already had another bite. There he is. Nothing done come up and got it. Hey, nothing done come up and got it. Perch, though. Nice perch, though. There's some big perch in here. This is where the big ones are. This is where the big ones are, people. And we're going to catch them. Put it back out there. There's some fish in here. 28 foot of water right here. I guarantee I'm gonna get a bite as soon as I start pulling it. See that? That's what I'm talking about. We got them down there, buddy. The old bass is down there too. He might come up and get that second fish. Might be a bass any time. We got perch in there and bass. Is what we got. Perch and bass. What we got. Get it back out. They're hitting that blue. I need to put more blue on. I ain't got enough blues on. Too dark with these doggone glasses on. I can't see. We got fish all over this place. My goodness. The mother load is in here. I can tell you that right now. The mother load. Oh, Lord, he took it on the way down. One nailed it on the way down. They biting over here. That's another bass. That's I'd be several more bass. That's a good fish. We got two at a time, maybe three. I don't know what we got. Might be perch. How about three perch? Three perch at one time. You got to love that. Three perch at one time. Hey, we're doing it to it now. We done moved to the right spot, bud. And we're doing it. Uh-oh, come back here, boy. We're doing it to it. We doing it to it. Drop it back down where the big boys lie. Old fisherman's wired up when he sees fish like that. I can tell you that right now. I'm wired up when I see them big ones. And there's bass involved. I get wired up quick. I get wired up quick. See, we get a nut. I know we will. Look down. They biting, buddy. They biting. They biting. I'll tell you that. They biting. They biting. There goes a nut. Well, I ain't sure. That might not have been a nut. No, nah, it wasn't a nut. Small one. Hey, small one. I ain't throwing no fish back right now because they'll run them off. Not even a perch. I got that many fish down there and I don't want to run them off. We're going to put it to them right here. We're going to put it to them right here. There he is. Oh, Lord, he hit it. He hit it. 28 foot. They, they biting it. They biting it. They ain't taking it, but they bumping it. 
They're running up after. Well, when I first started a while ago, them bass was in there, they were everywhere. I can't tell you how many fish is down there. They slacked up a little bit. I don't see as many. Still got some there, though. We might draw the whole drove back in here again. There you go. Got him that time. We got him that time. Oh, my, we got him that time. Ain't no big one, though. Small one. Well, he's pretty nice. Just ain't but one. It's a problem. Ain't but one. Hey, we got to put it back out and get them nothing. They're not hitting that bass color jig too good. They want blues. I need to swap over and get more blue on. They want blue. Beautiful day to be alive. Enjoying it. All right, there's the bottom. Let's see if we can get another. Whoop, one bumped it. There he goes. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, Lord. We got him that time. We got him that time. We got him that time. Hey, day pulling drag off. All right, I got to tighten up a little bit. Oh, Lord. I got to tighten up a little bit. That's a good fish. Several good fish. How about three of them? How about three of them, folks? Three big old monocella white perch. Look at this. Look at that. You've got to love it. Huh? You got to love it. Three slabs. Jumbo magnums at one time. Oh, my. This is like old time. This is like old time. Hey, day. Calm down, boy. Calm down. These are good fish, yeah? These are good ones. It's the kind we're looking for. This is the kind the old fisherman looking for. Hey, day. Big old slabs. I tore my jig up, Lord and mercy. And you have all kind of trouble when things ain't going right. Or when you're catching fish, it seems like all kind of troubles. Things are going right. We just got to get it out there. Hey, let's drop it back down. We got it going on here now. Lake Monticello, and we are definitely loving life. Gotta wipe our little hands off. Slip! You getting a drum full of fish. What? You getting a drum full of fish. Cray day. Oop, there he is. It doesn't take long. Look down. Good one. Good one. Good one. Huh? Good one. Oh my. Might be a nothing that hit it. We got a bend on our rod here today. On this lake. Cray day. What? Look at him. Look at him. Three at a time again. Three at a time again. And I'm talking jumbo nice ones. Look at that. Huh? Them's good ones. That's, hey, that's a nice fish. For a perch, that's a good one. Huh? One at the bottom's little. We'll throw him out the other side of the boat. I don't want to scare nothing off. Mm. All right. Let's drop it to the bottom. Hey, let's catch some more. We're going to get another bass in a minute. We're going to get another bass in a minute. So where's the world? Drop it to the bottom with a big boy's lie. Oh, I'm loving this. It's been a while since I caught a perch like this. Oh, there he is. Oh, I missed him. There he is again. Got him that time. You got him that time. Hey, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's a nothing. Oh my, there's a nothing. Hey, they, they working me over today, boy. They working me over. We done found them today. Three at a time again, look at that. Three at a time. Oh Lord, one fell in the bucket. Three at a time again, y'all see them? Oh no. Oh, we laying it to them now. We laying it to them now, that's all I can say. Laying it to them. Put it down there where the big boys lie. What? Put it back out. Let's get a nudding. Put it back out. Let's get a nudding. Oh my, they there. They there. I wish I had my seven foot up, my mother rods I bought. I got to rig them up for a perch. They'd feel really good. Hey, we on them, ain't we? We killing them. We killing them. Oh my, we killing them. We killing them. Look at that, two at a time. We killing them. We laying it to some white perch today, buddy. I'll tell you that right now. We laying it to some white perch today. I 
I'll be back down. To the bottom. <laughs> with a big boy's life. We got to put our sunglasses on now. We're glaring too much. Now I got my sunglasses all got water all over them. I can't have see. But it's glare. I got to put them on. Slick calm too. Catching them like this, slick calm. Can't beat it. Look at that. We killing them, ain't we? We laying it to them. I don't mind telling you. I'm laying it to them. They on fire. They on fire. Hey, day they on fire. Look at that, two at a time. They on fire. That's all I can say. Fire. Hey, day. Oh, my. Hey, day. Come on, boy. Get off of that. Come on, don't get in no knot. Come off of that, big boy. Come off of that, big boy. Hey, let's put it out there where the big boys lie. We got it going on. I'll tell you that. We got it going on. A lot of jigs. They hard to beat. This kind of uh, fishing. They hard to beat. Two and a eighth inch slider jigs and a three inch slider jig and the inch and a half slider jigs. All of them. That nope, one nailed it right there. All of them is good, good fishing. Uh, good bait to fish with when you're on perch deep water. Oh, and bass. <laughs> there he is. There he is. There goes a nothing. Again. There goes a nothing. Hey, day, there goes a nothing. Oh, my. We done got three on. Show us the world. We done got three on. What? Hey, day, look at him. Look at that. We got two nice ones and one little one. Two jumbo magnums. People, you have got to love a jumbo magnum when it comes to perch fishing. Look at that. Oh my. I hope my camera's rolling. Oh yeah, she's rolling. It got dark on me. I can't see with these glasses. Oh, goodness sake of life. Laying it to them, ain't we? You catch them two and three at a time, you can lay it to some fish quick. I can tell you that. Quick. Oh, my. Adam likes this kind of fish. I might have to bring him back, see if we can get on some of this about Thursday. I'll be back out. Clay likes it too, but Clay's got to work. He just moved Clay this weekend. He moved in a nice new house. <sighs> that moving ain't easy. I can tell you that. Thanks to all the help he had. Tell you what, them jokers is down there, Legana. They down there. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. I think, I ain't sure. Might not be but one. I ain't but one nice one. Look at that. Look at that, what a fish. One nice one. All right, drop back down. They're eating it up, I'll tell you that. They're eating it up. Drop back out and we got, a, got another bite. Kind of lost them there for a little bit. I hope I can get them stirred back up. That's a nice one. Put on a, a green jig uh, just to see if they bite it. Pumpkin seed color. Three inch. We caught that one on it. Changing around a little bit. Try to see if we can make something bite. Fish, the sun come out and fish quit. So I moved out a little deeper is what I'm doing. See if that makes a difference and we got a bite. So it might make a difference. We got The fish moved out. When that sun come out, they moved out. Oh, yeah, that's what they're doing. It just moved out a little deeper. Hey, we're gonna try to catch them. We're gonna try to catch them. Nice perch. Look at that. Got him on a blue and chartreuse. Super dog magnum perch right there. I mean, nice one. Look at that. That's a good perch. Good one. Hey, drop it back down. To the bottom, where the big boys lie. Appreciate all my fans out there watching the old fishman videos. Hey, because of y'all we growing, we are soon get 10,000, I hope. Boy, it's been a long, whole, hard road to travel for me. But we getting close to 9,000 now, so we've got about 1,000 uh, subscribers this last month, uh, in, in, almost 1,000. 
and uh, I had a great month. Best month ever last month on YouTube. Hope we can continue. I know y'all like them crappy videos and, and shellcracker videos. Them shellcracker videos are kind of limited right now. Crappy videos, you know, I could probably still catch a few crappies, but it's hard for me to fish with crappies. I know y'all like it. But uh, I'd rather come out here and catch a bunch of fish at one time. That's what I'd rather do. Catfish. I know y'all didn't tired of catfish videos. When I don't put catfish videos, everybody wants to see them. But when I put five or six up at a time, and I know y'all tired of the same old thing. But my show is designed to watch me on my fishing trips, whatever it might be. And I ain't basically trying to teach you a different method every day. We might be using the same method, or we might be using a different approach. I'm, I'm just showing you all my techniques. And uh, hey, sometimes it'll be the same thing over and over. Sometimes it won't. So that's all I can tell you. But I appreciate all y'all watching. We had like 145,000 uh, uh, people watch my video last month. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good to think about that many people in a football stadium. My views went up 300 something percent. Plus, I don't know why. I guess it's because shell crackers and crappies. I don't know. But I appreciate all of you. I've got some good fans. We got a few more hats left, but I ain't got many. If you want a hat, you better be ordering you one. I might get a different design, I don't know. I just got to find time to do all this. I want to go fishing, not work in the house. I got to keep videos coming. I need somebody else taking care of it for me. Is what I need. Somebody local. Problem. All right. Hey, we're catching a few. We got to love hey, that. Two out. We got a jumbo magnum. Sorry I didn't get the camera on in time. That's a nice one. See if we get it. I see a few more down there now. Maybe we done found where they went. I'm going to throw back out and see if we get another. I see a few right there on the bottom, 28 foot. Kind of out off the point more where I caught them a while ago. About 40 yards. Maybe they went this way. I'm going to drop down there and see if we can get another. There he is. There he is. Hey, there he is. Nice one, too. Good one. Come here, boy. Come in here to the old fish. My jigs is all messed up on my other ones. I don't know what's going on here. Getting in knots and stuff. We don't want knots. We don't like knots. This jig here ain't working right. I'll tell you, it's important to have these things straight now. This joker there ain't straight. It's better. And this one over here is crooked too. It's all kinked up. See if we can get back out and get another. I think I got a few fish back under me again right there. We moved up up a little bit. See if we can catch another 25 before we go home. We have a cooler full if we do, I can tell you that. Cooler full. Hey, yeah. Oh, we hit it. We own some now. We own some now. We gotta turn this boat, get a little slant at it to catch them. I can tell you that. They won't slant what they want. Slant. See what I'm talking about? Slant. 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 Oh my slant. Nice one. Nice one. Come on in here, boy. Two up. Two up. Three of them. Oh my. Three at a time. Lake Monticella. And one of them is a super dog magnum. Huh. One of them on that blue swimming manor by Charlie Brewer is a super dog magnum. My goodness. Hey, day what a nice fish. Super dog magnum. And that swallowed it right now. 
He wanted that joker. He swallowed it all the way down to his guzzle. Hey, throw it back out so we can get another. I see him down there. Went 31 foot out from where we caught him a while ago. What happened? I dropped off the side over there and he went out on the point. What happened? We on him again. We might catch some more. Loving life with the whole fisherman. See if we can get a nothing. Oh, there he is. Oh, Lord, he hit it. He hit it again. Carl, lead him running after it. He's running after it. Drop it back down. We get a nut. Let's drive it back down. I want to take it hey, all over the bottom. My goodness. Oop, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There goes a nut. There goes a nut. Oh, my, there goes a nut. Huh? What? I know we got two. Oh, how did I do wrong? We just got one boss. You ain't got no two. Oh, fisherman, you ought to know better than that. Look at the size of that one. I swore I had two. I don't know. I might have, I might have got on. Look at that. Okay. Okay.